July, August, and September. Three incredibly important months we need to watch very, very closely. I have all the details for you in this video. Let's get into it right away. But really quickly before we do, if you haven't done so yet, or if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below the video as information continues to change very, very fast right now. I'm watching everything closely and I'm breaking it all down into these short videos so that you can get the latest details hot off the wire each and every day in the shortest videos I can possibly produce right here on the channel so that you can stay updated with everything going on. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and let's jump right into the video. All right, so the three months that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, July, August, and September, are three incredibly important months that we need to watch very closely as these are going to directly impact those people living on a small fixed income from Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, and VA beneficiaries. So let me talk you through the details so that we can watch these months as we approach them very closely and the very important data points that will be released as a result of these months and how these numbers are going to directly impact the millions of beneficiaries, about 70 plus million beneficiaries drawing on all the benefits that I mentioned just a minute ago. It's a lot of people. Seriously, it is a large percentage of our population right here in the United States. Therefore, we've got to watch this very closely because it's gonna impact people possibly in a good way and possibly who knows what. So here's the deal. We don't know that quite yet until we actually work our way through these months. So let me talk you through the details on this. All right, so first off, as all of us know, right now, inflation is raging hot. I mean, seriously, I don't even know what else to call it. We just know that inflation is going wild right now. Inflation is moving very, very fast higher, and we know that prices on essentially everything, if you don't buy it today and you come back tomorrow, you can pretty much expect to pay a higher price, pretty much regardless of whatever it is you're buying. Of Obviously, I know that I'm exaggerating a little bit, but for the most part, it's not too far off from an exaggeration. You know what I mean? Um, I know that sometimes we've uh, passed up on different things Things, like buying things like oh we don't need it this week sure enough you come back the next week and oh it's 25 cents higher it's a dollar higher and it's something basic like a pack of eggs or something you know what I mean like um, seriously everything is getting so much more expensive these days however when it comes to inflation this is also what we need to watch very closely as we move our way into July August and September here's what's gonna happen the inflation data as we continue to move forward into the coming you know the middle of the year the these three months that I'm laying out right here these are the numbers and these are the months that are so incredibly impactful for the millions of beneficiaries I mentioned so here's the deal it's the inflation data that comes out of the three months, July, August, and September, that will actually indicate how much the cost of living adjustment is going to be for the following year in 2023. It is these three months, July, August, and September, that the Social Security Administration takes into account to actually run the calculations to determine how much the raise is going to be for the following year, the COLA raise. Now, one more thing, we have to throw this out there as well, just because I think all of us remember this very freshly. So last year in 2021, we were experiencing inflation, right? Nowhere near what we're experiencing right now, but there still was heightened inflation last year. And honestly, at the time last year, we were thinking, wow, this is nuts. Inflation is so hot right now. Well, <laughs> we had no idea what was coming in 2022. Honestly, nobody foresaw this coming. Well, for the most part at the time anyway. Um, but anyway, as we worked our way through 2021, we were experiencing inflate. Uh, sorry, we were experiencing inflation. Well, the deal was as we got into those three months and in October, when the Social Security Administration came out and announced the cost of living adjustment for 2022 at 5.9%, we were thinking, wow, we just hit the lottery. Seriously, this is big. This is good stuff. Well, that was in October. As we continue to work our way through the rest of October, November, December of 2021, we quickly realized, oh, wait, 5.9%? Is there any way we can renegotiate that? Because I'm pretty sure 5.9% is um, way too low and we need to be more around like the 75 to 8% range as we moved our way into 2021. Unfortunately, that's not really how it works. Once they announce that cost of living adjustment, otherwise known as the COLA raise for the following year, it's pretty much written in stone. 
for the most part anyway. So that announcement comes out in mid-October because that's when the last data point, the inflation data, comes out for the last month in question here, which is September. So here's what we need to do going forward as we move our way into these months. First off, at the rate of inflation right now, we're likely going to be seeing, I mean, provided inflation continues to move at the same rate that it's moving right now, we're likely going to see something around 10% possibly, even by that range. By the time that we get into July, we may be looking at 10 plus percent inflation in this country, especially with everything, everything going on right now, not only here around the country, but globally as well. 10% is certainly not out of the question. In fact, there's a lot of um, big names out there, especially people on Wall Street, big banks, things like this. They're calling on, yeah, 10% for sure. It's, it's probably coming. So something we've certainly got to be aware of. However, the timing on that 10% may be perfectly in line with these three months that I'm mentioning here, especially July and maybe even June or something. So anyway, this is what we gotta watch very closely going forward. So anyway, when it comes to July, August, and September, the inflation data for those months will be released in the middle of the following month. For example, July um, inflation data will be released in mid-August. August inflation data will be released in mid-September, and September inflation data will be released in mid-October. And that is also usually the same day, shortly thereafter, Social Security comes out and announces the cost of living adjustment, COLA, for the following year. So these three months, we certainly need to keep on our radar going forward. Um, but at the same time, there's not a whole lot we can do about inflation. Unfortunately, that sure would be nice if we just had a little switch or a little dial or a little lever that we could just... Um, flip or turn and be like, okay, we're just, we're done with inflation. That was fun. It was all fun and games. It was all laughs and, uh, you know, a thousand laughs a minute during all this inflation. And now we're done with it and we're kind of sick of it. So yeah, let's just turn the inflation nozzle off and uh, let's bring it back down to, well, let's just call it zero because we've been dealing with high inflation for so long now. Let's just turn it down to zero, zero for quite a while. And, uh, we'll be good to go for a while. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work that way. Uh, so anyway, this is what we need to watch very closely going forward, July, August, and September. I know there's still a few months out from now, but you know what? It comes fast. I think all of us can recognize we're already a few months into 2022. It's going fast. I'm not sure about you, but it seems like it was just the turnover from 2021 to 2022, for me anyway. I mean, obviously, we're all living through this together. We can't speed time up or slow it down, but the fact is, it's going fast, and it's going to be here before we know it. So, this is kind of a touch and go type of topic right here. And either way, the millions of beneficiaries will pretty much be up and uh, we'll have to continue watching. Are you going to get a big, big raise or is it going to be something small and disappointing like it is most years? Anyway, I'll continue watching it very closely. As I do get more details, of course, I'll be right back here for you with everything broken down and laid out for you as that is my dedication to you and this community as a whole. I hope you're doing well. Please enjoy your day. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share this video or any others here on the channel with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other 2,300 or more videos right here on the channel. Enjoy, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.